what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have a new list of names for these new cast members in screen five now this isn't anything official it hasn't come from paramount pictures or spyglass media or radio silence or anyone officially involved with the film this is coming courtesy of one of the biggest fan sites when it comes to all things scream this is coming from hellosydney.com uh they have of course tabs or everything regarding scream and one including screen five and if you go onto that website and you click on the more info page or the more info tab, you'll come across a list of cast members that they seem to have gained some type of knowledge on and they just decided to put it on the site. So as you see here, we have Heather Matarazzo back as Martha Meeks. We have Melissa Barrera playing Sam Carpenter, Jenna Ortega playing Tara Carpenter, Jack Quaid playing Richie Kirsch, Jasmine Brown playing Mindy, Mason Gooding playing Chad, Dylan Minnette playing Wes Hicks, Kyle Gallner playing Vince. Sonia Amar playing Liv McKenzie, Mikey Madison playing Amber Freeman, and Reggie Conquest playing Deputy Farney. Now there's other two cast members that just came out, um, and I believe 3C mentioned them in the video. Uh, a character named Francis and then another deputy that we could expect to see in the film. So we have our confirmation at least, not again, not official confirmation, but at least more, more things adding to the already intense accuracy that Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega will be playing on-screen Latino sisters in Screen 5. And Melissa Barrera will be playing Sam, who is presumably the 24-year-old returning to her hometown to investigate those series of vicious crimes. And then Jenna Ortega will be playing the, young, the younger sister of Sam Carpenter, uh, Tara Carpenter. She's 18 years old, lives in Woodsboro with her mom, has all these friends, and she's going to be at the center of this Ghostface killing spree. Now, the reason I think she's going to be at the center of it all is because of the way the narrative is being set up to make us think it's Sam. But jumping into something else really quickly, we know that we have Dylan Minnette playing Wes Hicks. Nice little nod to Wes Craven, R.I.P. Wes Craven. Also, this seems to be Judy Hicks' son. Judy Hicks' son, yes, I know, he was not present in Screen 4 for anyone who wants to instantly jump on the, oh, well, where was he in Screen 4? Again, not everything with filmmaking is, of course, a perfect science. We know that Wes Hicks was not something that Kevin Williamson had in mind back when he was writing Screen 4. We know that. Well, we don't actually know that, but you get my drift. Because, of course, he wasn't present in Screen 4. He was only seven or seven or eight or six even at the time so he wasn't even going to be mentioned regardless he shouldn't even be involved in this <laughs> but we know that Dylan Minnette's playing Judy Hicks son now and then we also know that Randy Meek's sister uh, Martha Meeks will be playing will be playing a role in the narrative now somehow as well again not official none of this is official but it looks like she will be back as Martha Meeks can't wait to see how she factors into everything and then just I know a lot of people are already disappointed because you don't see you don't see Kirby Reed here. You don't see Hayden Pantier listed there. Well, think about it like this. What happened a few weeks ago during during the early portion of filming when filming actually just started? What did Marley Shelton do on her Instagram account? She put up something and unintentionally or mistakenly tagged Skeet Ulrich. Now, why did she do that? Why did she do that and why did she edit it so fast? Because that's probably a secret. Skeet Ulrich, we know, played Billy Loomis. Do you see Skeet Ulrich anywhere on that list I just showed you? No. That doesn't mean that Skeet Ulrich won't be in Screen 5. In fact, he very might well be because of how he's appeared in multiple different locations um, from people involved with this film. As if they're trying to cover and save the surprise now because they weren't supposed to let the surprise out of the bag. So Hayden Panettiere could easily still return as Kirby in some capacity. I don't want everybody to get down on the fact that we don't see here here on this list. And in fact, look at the way you guys are so antsy for Kirby. They're not going to, they're going to feed into that. These directors and these, and the writers, their love for Scream is very evident. They are aware of who Kirby is. They're aware of Hayden Pantier. And if they approach these three original stars, Nev Campbell, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, there's no doubt in my mind that they try to approach Hayden Pantier. It all comes down to whether or not she said yes or no. So don't hone in on the fact that you don't see her on this list. She could easily still appear somehow in this movie. Just remain hopeful, wait for the movie, and Scream 5 being good or bad is not reliant on Kirby being in the movie or not. Yes, she'll be a nice addition to it because we all want to see Hayden, Hayden Pantier reprise that role, but relax a bit. I know she's not on this list, but that does not mean she's not in the film. Just remain calm. But getting into something else that I want to talk about really quickly, going back to that whole Jenna Ortega thing. 
I think Jenna Ortega is going to be the main character because of the way the narrative set up to make us think it's Sam. But really, it's going to be centered around Jenna Ortega's character and how Sam's past life before she left town is negatively impacting her and now has also sprung a ghost face killer in her path. And now her sister, her older sister, is going to return to town to help her out. Now, Sydney in the gang, how they factor into it, I honestly just see it being a simple case of Sydney just jo joining in on the thing to help out. And I don't know where the narrative will particularly go from there, but that's honestly how I see them getting involved. They'll just jump in to the swing of things just to help. Because at the end of it, ultimately, I think this will have something to do with Sydney. But Sydney, for the most part, will just get involved out of a, out of a uh, desire to help because she's been through this and she wants to help these two sisters now. But jumping into something else this weekend, we have a Scream reunion going on. We have a little uh, charity event going on with the cast reuniting and they're going to answer some they're going to answer some questions. Of course, you actually can pay to have one on one virtual chats with them. I looked at some of the pricing and I was going to do something with Nev Campbell, but I was like, one hundred dollars. Is it really worth it? Uh, I'm going to have to I, I got to think about that. Um, yeah, but I'll leave a link to that down in the description. They're having a reunion with Rose McGowan, Jamie Kennedy, Nev Campbell, David Arquette, I believe is going to be there. Skeet Ulrich, Matthew Lillard, they're all going to be back together. Kevin Williamson is going to be there. So it's going to be very exciting to see how that all ends up coming together this weekend. So if you're excited about that, I'll leave a link to the description. I'll leave a link in the description about that because you do have to pay for admission. But another thing I'm excited about in Screen 5 is just seeing how the relationship between Courtney Cox's character, Gail Weathers, and Sydney Prescott. I hope they bond and come closer together. And I hope that if this is the last time we see all three of them, Dewey included, I hope this is like a fitting into that narrative. Because if we're really going to branch out and focus on these other characters in this film, um, I just want like a fitting in for our for our main trio, our main trio. And I hope that we get some type of bonding relationship between Sydney and Gail Weathers. But another thing that that was uh, standing out to me was the last name McKenzie for Liv. Now, Liv McKenzie. We know the McKenzies were the ones that the Beckers tried to contact when Casey died in the opening of the original screen. So it's fun to speculate. Maybe this McKenzie girl, Liv McKenzie, is related to that same family. I kind of like where they're going with this. I honestly like how these directors are playing are paying so much homage to not only John Carpenter, but Wes Craven and paying, paying so much attention to detail when it comes to old character names that have been brought up and they're possibly going to weave them into the narrative now and try to tie up any loose ends that might be present. Can't wait to see how Jenna Ortega knocks it out of the park because I believe she's going to be our new final girl. I don't think it's going to be Sam. I think it's going to be Jenna Ortega. And actually the director of The Babysitter 2, he wasn't helping things because he actually confirmed it. So with that being stated, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Tara Carpenter who will be our new Sydney and not Sam. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Right in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.